Thousands of Americans are hitting the slopes this winter, but for people who are visually impaired, taking part can be difficult. But a nearly 50-year-old nonprofit called Ski for Light is working to change that. The organization teaches blind, visually, and mobility impaired adults how to cross-country ski. For more on this, we are joined by the president of Ski for Light, Julie Coppins, and Ski for Life participant Greg Andrews. Thank you both so much for being with us. We appreciate it. I mean, Julie, first of all, just tell us how the program works. So the concept of skiing with the visually impaired is something that came to us from Norway. Um, they figured out that a blind person, if their skis are in the tracks, which are groomed in the snow, you can kind of feel where you're going. So that combined with a guide's verbal instructions helps the skier kind of navigate uh, the trail. We've developed methods of teaching someone how to ski who can't see what you're doing. You can't just say, do this. You have to put it into words. So we've developed a method of instruction that works pretty well, I'd say. Absolutely. It's beautiful. Yeah, that's so incredible. That's good thing. Greg, I do want to bring you in. How did you hear about yeah. Ski for Light? And did you have any background in cross-country skiing before you even joined? Actually, a friend of mine named Joe Cooler uh, introduced me to the program. I was a member of the um, National Disabled Veterans Winter Sports Clinic where I met him. And we do alpine skiing there. And he introduced me to a concept of cross-country skiing, ski, ski for Light. Now, this is my third time here uh, in the program. And we have two things, we have guides, and we have uh, visually impaired and mobi mobility impaired skiers. Mm -hmm. The guides are our beacons of light who get us through everything, and not only on the outside of the tracks, but within the organization. I'm, I'm very privileged and happy to have um, the president, Jul Julie, who's my guide. She also she says, talks the talk, walks the walk and lights the path for me to follow. So it's beautiful. Man. Oh, that is so good to hear. I mean, each year you guys conduct, Julie, a week-long event that attracts people from all around the world. I think you're in the middle of that event right now. Tell us more about it. We are right midway. So we are in Granby, Colorado right now at Snow Mountain Ranch, YMCA of the Rockies. We've had events all over. Next year, we're going to be in Rhinelander, Wisconsin. So Wisconsin cross-country skiers, come be guides with us. Um, yeah, and people come from all over. Um, I've been coming since 1997. That was my first year as a guide in uh, Minnesota. So um, it's, yeah, it's an event that brings people together from all walks of life. We all have love of the winter outdoors in common. Um, even our friends from Texas and Florida, they come up and experience <laughs> snow for the first time. We also have a lot of fun in the evenings. We do dances, we bring in entertainment. Our own people present workshops on yoga and the digital tools for the disabled. Um, later on this afternoon, we have, uh, in honor of Black History Month, we have a diversity, equity, and inclusion workshop talking about intersectionality with different identities combining with disability. So it's um, it's an, it's a definitely a physical activity, but also a spiritual one almost, and an intellectual one. And you come away from the week just feeling like your best self, 100% alive, and you've made lifelong friends. Yeah, definitely. And it's, it's a can-do culture. Mm. Everybody's here to encourage each other, and it's really full of inspiration and life, and I love it here. I mean, <laughs> so incredible. Clearly a strong community. I could see you bundled up with your scarves in the fireplace behind you, and I'm just impressed by skiers, period, because I cannot ski to save my life. So, Greg, how did you, how was never that first? Never say never. I, I don't know. I, I fell on my face pretty hard. But, Greg, <laughs> I wonder for you, what was your first ride like with Ski for Light? It was absolutely incredible because I, the guides are so empathic and they realize what they need to do to get us um, up and going. They, they got us it's two sets of tracks and we just follow the instructions. And if we follow the instructions, everything will be fine. So it really, it really is ski for light because um, it's like beacons of light. They just guide our path. I mean, Greg, just what does this mean to you to be able to do this and share this week with so many other people? It is so fabulous because it's a... Um, it's an inspiration to not only the people here at Ski for Life, but for my family and friends. They say, you're going skiing and you're blind. So that's the beautiful thing about it. It's an inspiration for the people in the program and family and friends and people who learn about it. Well, thank you both so much, Greg and Julie, for sharing your insights and happy skiing. Yes. <laughs> Have a great day. We're heading out there. <laughs> Bye-bye.